To start the RNA isolation and to attain sufficient yields, 50 zebrafish embryos are pulled into a mortar microfuse tube. The RNA is first extracted using trizole reagent and chloroform after being homogenized thoroughly. The RNA is then cleaned and purified using the Kyogen RNEZ mini kit to yield high quality non-degraded total RNA. For future applications and long-term storage, the RNA is synthesized into the more stable cDNA product. The cDNA is purified to remove the original RNA template strand. Hello, my name is Sam Peterson from the laboratory of Dr. Jennifer Freeman in the Department of Health Sciences at Purdue University. Today we will be showing you how to extract high quality RNA from whole zebrafish embryos and turn it into the cDNA product. Typically we use this procedure to study gene expression profiles. So let's get started. When working with RNA, it is very important to work in an environment that is free of RNAses. Use simple precautions such as having reserved pipettes for use only with RNA procedures and spraying the work area with RNAs away before starting extraction of total RNA. To start the extraction, work in the fume hood and pull 50 zebrafish embryos in a 1.5 ml microfuge mortar tube. Remove as much water as possible and immediately add 250 microliters of trizole reagent, which contains phenol. Use a pellet pestle to lyse and homogenize the embryos for approximately 20 strokes until the tissue is sufficiently disrupted. Then add 750 microliters of trizole reagent and incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature to permit complete dissociation of nucleoprotein complexes. When the 5 minutes are up, add 0.2 milliliters of chloroform, mix by rocking the tube for 15 seconds, and incubate the sample for 2 minutes at room temperature. Then centrifuge at 12,000 G for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. The mixture will separate into a lower red phenol chloroform phase, an interphase and a colourless upper aqueous phase. The top layer is approximately 0.6 milliliters, and it contains the RNA. Transfer the entire top aqueous layer, approximately 0.6 milliliters, into a new microfuge tube, being careful not to transfer any of the interphase layer. Next, to precipitate the RNA, add 0.5 milliliters isopropanol, mix and let sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. Then centrifuge the sample at 12,000 G for 10 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. The RNA should form a gel-like pellet. Remove the supernatant without disturbing the pellet and wash by adding 1 milliliters of 75% ethanol. Mix by gentle inversion. Centrifuge at 7,500 G for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. After centrifugation, remove the ethanol and invert the tube to dry for 10 minutes. Resuspend the pellet by adding 100 microliters of RNA's free water and incubating at 55 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Finger vortex frequently to aid in RNA rehydration. Now that the RNA is extracted from the embryos, proceed to RNA cleanup and DNA's treatment. To clean the RNA, start with the Kyogen RNEZ mini kit. Upon first use, add 4 volumes of 100% ethanol to 1 volume of buffer RPE. Working in the fume hood, add 10 microliters of beta mercaptoethanol for every 1 milliliter of buffer RLT. Then add 350 microliters of buffer RLT and 250 microliters of 100% ethanol to the sample. Mix by pipetting up and down several times and transfer the entire sample onto an RNEZ column that is loaded into a 2 ml collection tube. Centrifuge at 8000 G for 1 minute at room temperature. After centrifuging, discard the flow through and add 700 microliters of buffer RW1 to the spin column. Centrifuge again at 8000 G for 1 minute and discard the flow through.
To remove DNA from a sample, follow with a DNA's treatment using the RNA's free DNA's kit. Upon receiving the kit, add 550 microliters of nuclease-free water to the DNA's and mix gently by inverting. To store the stock solution, divide it into 10 microliter aliquots and freeze at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Add 70 microliters of buffer RDD to 10 microliters of DNA's one stock solution. Mix by gentle inversion, centrifuge briefly and add directly to the r and spin column. Incubate the DNA's treatment for 30 minutes at room temperature, then add 350 microliters of buffer RW1 to the spin column. Centrifuge at 8000G for one minute at room temperature. Discard the flow through and add 500 microliters of buffer RPE to the spin column. Incubate the sample for five minutes at room temperature. Centrifuge again at 8000G for one minute at room temperature. Discard the flow through and add 500 microliters of 75% ethanol to the spin column. Repeat centrifugation at 8000 G but for 2 minutes at room temperature. After centrifugation, discard the flow through and allow the column to dry for 5 minutes. Immediately centrifuge at 8000 G for 5 minutes at room temperature to remove any leftover traces of ethanol. Now transfer the spin column into a new 1.5 ml collection tube and add 10 microliters of nuclease free water Incubate for one minute. To elute the RNA, centrifuge at 10,000 G for one minute at room temperature. The RNA will be in the flow through. Repeat the elution with another 10 microliters of water. Check the quantity and quality of the RNA using a Nanodrop ND1000 spectrophotometer following the manufacturer's instructions. In addition, run a denaturing gel or use an Agilent 2100 bioanalyzer to check the integrity of the RNA. If the RNA quality and quantity are satisfactory, move on to cDNA synthesis. Finally, store the RNA at minus 80 degrees Celsius until cDNA synthesis can be performed. Start the cDNA synthesis by mixing and briefly centrifuging each component of the RNA primer mix, the RNA, DNTPs and oligo-DT. Add each component to a sterile 0.5 ml microfuse tube to a total of 10 microliters. For specific volumes, see the accompanying written protocol. Then incubate the sample at 65 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Immediately transfer the sample to an ice slurry for 10 minutes. While the sample is cooling, prepare a buffer master mix to a total of nine microliters, as outlined in the accompanying written protocol. After cooling, combine the buffer master mix with the RNA primer mixture. Mix gently and collect by brief centrifugation. Next, put the combined sample to incubate in a thermocycler at 42 degrees Celsius for two minutes. To start the reverse transcription, add one microliter of superscript 2RT to the tube and mix. Continue to incubate at 42 degrees Celsius for an hour. Terminate the reaction at 70 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. 
Then chill the sample to 4 degrees Celsius and transfer to an ice bath. On ice, add 1 microliter of RNAs H to the sample and incubate for 20 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. RNAs H degrades the RNA template, leaving only the single strand cDNA product. cDNA synthesis is now complete, requiring only an additional cleanup and concentration step. To isolate the cDNA product, prepare a 1.5 ml phase lock gel tube by centrifugation at 12,000 G for 2 minutes. All of the gels should be at the bottom of the tube. Add 81.5 microliters of tris saturated phenol, buffered to pH 8.0. 81.5 microliters of 24 to 1 chloroform isyl amyl alcohol and the sample into the phase lock gel tube. Mix several times by gentle inversion. Centrifuge the sample at 12,000 G for 5 minutes at room temperature. The cDNA should be in the upper aqueous phase. Transfer the upper phase, which should be about 20 microliters, into a clean 1.5 milliliter microfuge tube. To precipitate the cDNA, add 2 microliters of 3 molar sodium acetate at pH 5.2 and mix gently. Add 7 microliters of 5 mg per milliliter of glycogen and mix gently. Then add 30 microliters of isopropanol and mix gently and allow the sample to incubate at room temperature for 10 minutes. Then centrifuge at 12,000 G for 20 minutes at room temperature. After centrifugation, a small cDNA pellet appears on the bottom of the tube. Carefully remove the supernatant with a pipette. Wash the pellet by adding 500 microliters of 70% ethanol and mix by inversion. Centrifuge the sample at 12,000 G for 5 minutes. After centrifugation, remove the supernatant with a pipette. Repeat the wash, add ethanol, centrifuge and remove the supernatant. After the second wash, briefly spin down the tube to gather any remaining liquid. Remove any excess liquid and allow the pellet to dry at room temperature for 5 minutes. Then add 20 microliters of nuclease free water to rehydrate the pellet. Place the sample at 55 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes for the rehydration. The cDNA can be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Finally, check the quantity and quality of the cDNA product using a Nanodrop ND1000 spectrophotometer following the manufacturer's instructions. Extraction and cleanup of RNA from 50 zebrafish embryos routinely yields approximately 15 micrograms of high quality total RNA as assessed using a Nanodrop ND1000 spectrophotometer. The 260 to 280 absorbance ratio is around 1.9 to 2.0. The integrity of the extracted RNA is evaluated using a denaturing RNA gel. The RNA appears as a smear with two bright bands corresponding to 18S and 28S ribosomal RNA. The 28S band should be approximately twice as intense as the 18S band. Alternatively, RNA integrity is evaluated using an Agilent 2100 bioanalyzer. Two sharp peaks corresponding to the 18S and 28S ribosomal RNA are visible. The 28S peak should be larger than the 18S peak. Reverse transcription of 5 micrograms of total RNA routinely yields 1 to 2 micrograms of cDNA as assessed using a Nanodrop ND1000. The 260 to 280 absorbance ratio of the cDNA is around 1.8.
We've just shown you how to isolate total RNA from whole zebrafish embryos and convert that RNA into the cDNA product. When doing this procedure, it's important to remember to maintain an environment free of RNAsis. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.